Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First off, apologies for the two week hiatus. Uh, we, Nick and I are both sort of do this for the love of airsoft. It's not our full-time uh, gig. You know, we, we do try and do this in between a day job each. So apologies for, for not posting anything for the last couple of weeks. However, to make up for that, we have something rather special here for you. Now, this is a limited edition item. We're probably never gonna see one of these again. So personally, I'm really excited to get into the box. So let's check it out. Okay, first things first, we're gonna dive into the box. Now, I do wanna say, given what this is and how much it is, on first impressions, it's just a cardboard box. Anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not filling me with awe and, and wonder opening the box. It's, uh, uh, I've got to say, it's, it's a bit naff, to be honest. Anyway, packaging aside, we're here to look at what's inside. Now, this is, uh, we only know it as the Raptor, and it is essentially a bullpup PKP uh, light machine gun, support weapon. So there's only, I think, about 200 of these made, and we've managed to get our hands on one so we can have a look at it. So let's get it out of the box. And we've got your standard PKM style magazine there. So set that aside. There is a lot of packaging to this, so you just have to bear with me. Oh man, this thing weighs a ton. Whew. And there it is. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a weighty beast. I've got to be honest, it feels super solid. It really does. I mean, everything's really nicely machined, alloy. Uh, I'm guessing that's possible. I don't know if that's an alloy or steel outer barrel. But anyway, it's all metal, which you'd expect for the, uh, for the price, which we'll come to at the end of the video. Um, yeah, it feels good. It looks well made, looks solid. Um, I've got to be honest. <laughs> I'm liking the gun so far. I don't know if I've got the uh, the muscles to carry it around for a full game day because I've not even got the magazine on at the moment. I'm already getting tired. Uh, but anyway, let's just set that aside so we can dump this box. Oh, we've got another little box here. I'll come to that in a second. Right, so there we go. So starting at the front here, we've got this big chunky sort of, I suppose you could class it as a birdcage style flash hider, just on steroids, just a bit chunkier there. Uh, what looks like a lug for bipod mount, which is just sort of clipped around the, uh, the outer barrel there, but it's not going anywhere. Uh, standard sort of front sight post there. It is adjustable. You can raise it up and down there as well for elevation. Uh, again, like I say, solid metal outer barrel there. Everything feels solid. Nothing's twisting, nothing's shaking or anything like that. <coughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's very well made. Moving further back, We've got plenty of Riz rails up here. So you've got on the, uh, what's that? Three, three, nine and 12 positions. Uh, and then you've got this one on the top here as well. Uh, so yeah, plenty of options there for optics, uh, lights, grips or whatever, etc. Uh, lots of little sort of drilled out holes here. I'm assuming for weight saving, I don't know. I've got to be honest, I'm not feeling any saving in weight, but there you go. Uh, Back to the body of the gun. Again, very solid. Kind of got that stamped steel sort of look to it. I don't know if it is steel, um, but again, it's, it's very solid, very well put together. The grip itself is a, a, a what is that, polymer? I can't tell if that's polymer or metal, actually. I think it is a polymer. Yes, it is. But again, it's very, very well made. You've got these nice sort of drilled holes for uh, extra sort of grip there. You've got the finger grooves as well, which are very, comfortable to hold on to. Uh, also, there is the safety and fire switch there. So nice and easy to reach with your thumb. Uh, moving on back, we have a sort of, what's, I don't know if that's real, I'm gonna assume that's faux leather, uh, but the, the cheek weld there or the cheek pad, very, very thick, very comfortable. So if you are gonna, I mean, heaven forbid you're actually able to hold it out for any length of time, but if you are gonna, get your chin on it or your cheek on it, then very comfortable. Uh, and a nice rubberized sort of uh, butt pad there. Again, very grippy, you've got these serrations in the back there. So yeah, all, all in all, very, very solid, uh, very solid gun. 
Now, just quickly, I'm going to set that down, put it that way, and move on to this box. Because what we've got in here is a foregrip and a very solid machined alloy sort of, I'm going to call it a bracket. I can't think of any better term for it, to be honest, but essentially this portion of it will clamp around an existing rail and it gives you sort of a either a, a, an offset for the foregrip or if you wanted to offset a, a, an optic or something like that. Um, now you may think, well, why am I going to bother offs offsetting the grip or the optic? That seems counterproductive. The reason being, once you've got the magazine on the gun, which I shall attempt to do now, just bear with me. Ah, there we go. Right, so the magazine's on and it sits at this weird sort of 45 degree canted angle. Now you may be thinking, well the magazine's in front of the trigger, how is it a bullpup? The actual gearbox and all the action and everything is taking place back here, which is what qualifies it as a bullpup because it's behind the trigger. Anyway, I was talking about this little bracket. Now the reason why you might want this is because if you've got a foregrip on the gun, where that magazine sits, it's very difficult to get to the foregrip. So trying to hold it there for any length of time is very uncomfortable. And what this will do, mount that on the side there, it moves the foregrip out of it, and it makes the gun a lot more comfortable to hold up. So it's a nice little thing to uh, have included in the box. And again, like the rest of the gun, very, very well made. Uh, I think you've even got, yeah, a little storage space in the bottom there for tactical skittles or uh, whatever your chocolate of choice is. Now, <coughs> the gun itself, uh, I believe, is 11.1 volt LiPo ready. Don't quote me on that. Uh, however, we have tested it with an 11.1 and the rate of fire, my word, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna keep the heads down with that, certainly. It, it, it feels very crisp to shoot um, and it works very, very well, to be honest. Range, don't know, haven't had a chance to test it on any decent sort of lengthy range, um, but uh, yeah, it, it feels brilliant to shoot. Anyway. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's uh, tackle the questions that I'm sure you've got floating around in your head right now. Now, like I, as I say, we, we can't test shoot this one at the moment because it is a loner um, and it is expensive. So, you know, we don't want to risk anything and we just haven't got access to the range at the moment either. Uh, now then, I spoke earlier about it's being a limited edition. Uh, there's only 200 available. It's expensive. And just how expensive is this? Well, you're looking at the better part of about 1,200 pounds. Now, I'll leave that to you to decide whether or not it's worth it, but I would suggest that you consider the fact that A, it's a limited edition, there's only 200 available, so there's always gonna be a market uh, out there for this kind of thing. Somebody's gonna always wanna get that kind of, I've got it, you haven't vibe. Um, 1,200 quid is a lot of money, and yes, some of you will have spent 1200 quid on guns, but probably not just one gun. You know, it's, it's, it's a big ask. Uh, I'd be interested to hear your viewpoints on that in the comments below, just you know, let us know what you think, is it worth it for that money? Now from the test shoot that we were privy to, it does shoot well for an LMG. You know, it's got a brilliant rate of fire. Uh, it's gonna empty that box mag a little bit quicker than some others perhaps, but um, you know, it, it, it's straight and true. It feels very good to shoot. Uh, didn't miss a beat, fed, you know, fed the BBs very, very well. So it will perform, there's no question about that, but you've just got to ask yourself, have I got that extra cash to drop on something like this? Can I justify it? So, you know, it's, give, us your, give us your thoughts in the comments below. I'd be interested to see what you think. So there you go, guys. That's the, uh, the Raptor, the Bullpup PKP uh, LMG support weapon. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, you know, are you going to go out your way to try and find one of these? Is it something you want to add to your arsenal? We'd be interested to find out. But uh, anyway, like the video, share, subscribe, all that good stuff always helps us out. But until the next one, we'll see you later.